Glad to see everybody here. Everybody excited to be at Singularity. You guys uh, break, like blowing your minds uh, all over the place. The thing about Singularity that really is, is absolutely critical in Silicon Valley is that this is the one place where you can have seriously crazy ideas and be taken seriously. You stop being afraid of failure and getting laughed at, right? And some of the most crazy, amazing projects to come out in biology in the last few years that come out of this place. And I think it's just because people aren't afraid. They're just ready to do it. I mean, Jessica that did uh, U-Biome, sequencing people's uh, gut microbiomes. Anthony is gonna show you some glowing plants, a uh, project that we invested in and worked on with him. Uh, you know, we funded that with maybe $10,000 and they've sold almost a million dollars worth of plants. Right? It's a pretty amazing thing. Uh, so what I'm gonna talk to you about right now, really briefly, is about how the whole world's gonna change and how it's gonna change through the cost of DNA, writing being the same cost as reading, what that means, what kind of new companies are gonna come out, and how some of you, if you're interested, can be like Anthony, I'll give you 10 grand and you do it, right? That's how much it takes, 10 grand, an idea, some focus, a marketing campaign, and you can make a great product that you can sell to thousands and thousands of people. We've done it before, we'll do it again many times. I'll show you some of the new ideas coming out. So what we do is we offer a platform for making DNA super cheap, super affordable, writing DNA for the same cost of reading. Basically, you could think about it as a maker bot for living organisms. So if you wanna make something that's a lot, you know, plastic, you just buy a maker bot or a form lapse printer, you print it out. If you wanna make something alive, it's currently too expensive because you can make one sh only one strand at a time and it's about uh, you know, more than the price of a car for a few genes, right? By making a 3D printer for printing the DNA of living organisms, we've democratized access to creating living things. So the ability for anyone anywhere in the world to take uh, a computer and turn electrical uh, magnetic radiation into creature. Okay, so free software, access to super cheap DNA, and you know, in the case of glowing plant, we're also offering a space where they can make their creature real, as they've already done. You'll see later. So this is the paradigm: you're using free software to drag and drop DNA logic blocks around. It's a visual programming language, very easy to use; almost anyone can do it. After you've designed your DNA setup you know, if, if it's a glowing plant or whatever it is, you print out that DNA and then you put it into your target organism. So in the case of the plants, they're doing roses and uh, Arabidopsis, which is a weed. So I'm not gonna go into the details of how this is made, uh, but if you're interested, you can come visit our lab and see how we make trillions of molecules, sequence billions, and then print uh, millions of molecules. Um, so, uh, you know, the glowing plant, I'll just give you an example. You have a couple ideas, uh, a couple of people with an idea, like, wouldn't it be cool if I walked down the street instead of there being street lamps, there were plants, right, that glow. Well, how could we do that? Well, fireflies glow. We know the sequence for those. What if we put those in a plant, right? Plants have been around a long time, uh, you know, but over the last three billion years, we haven't had glowing plants. What does it take to do something like it? It just takes the audacity to say, I'm going to do it, and that it can happen, it can work, and actually doing it, and not being afraid to get laughed at, and you know, just believing in, in that it can be done. That's really probably the most important thing in all these projects, these new projects we're seeing, is simply uh, the fearlessness to say, let's do this, right? that it's important, that it's cool, and we should do it. right? And now that we've made DNA, the cost of writing DNA, the same cost as reading it, it's possible, you know. The price of sequencing became almost free. It's now $1,000 for a genome. Illum Illumina announced that last week, right? But it's $3 billion for a human genome, right? We're changing that. We're making the cost of reading the same cost as writing. So here's a new idea. Uh, this is actually with the Singularity alum from this past year, uh, Gilad Gome, uh, launching a company that 
engineers the microbiome. So whereas Jessica sequences it, finds out what's there, what the species are, this new company allows you to change the smell of your poop. It's pretty cool. You can feed it to your pets. They eat it. We currently have two uh, varieties. We have banana and wintergreen. I didn't bring up the, cir the genetic circuits for those. But these are actually working systems. So these E. coli in culture, they smell very, very, very powerful. Uh, a very strong banana smell, a very strong wintergreen smell. You eat these things, they, go, they colonize your microbiome. You simply replace the natural organisms that you have, like the lactobacillus, the E. coli, and you change the product that comes out, right? So that may seem stupid, it may seem funny, but you know, this is about changing everything about your life. From the second you wake up to the second you go to sleep. The materials that you interact with, the creatures that you interact with, the air that you breathe, everything that you experience in your life is going to change, right? And it's gonna start here. It's already started here. These new plants, these new food products, everything will change. What about dinosaurs? This is insane. What the hell? This guy's talking about dinosaurs? Is he out of his mind? Yeah, I am a little bit out of my mind, but I know it's possible, right? We now have the ability to print every gene in a chicken genome in a single run. We can make thousands and thousands of genes at a time. My co-founder at Harvard, George Church, also uh, got a technology working called CRISPR that allows you to rapidly change the genetics of humans and other uh, mammals and uh, you know these chickens as well. So with this tremendous power, we can do amazing things. If we have the power to turn a chicken into a dinosaur, imagine how much that's going to teach us about being human, right? And what our genetics uh, define as far as our traits. So this is actual real machines, real hardware, real robots. Uh, we're making DNA, we're sequencing it, we're laser printing it, and then we're using robots to assemble it. And we're not doing this one at a time like machines today, but we're doing it millions and billions at a time. We're making DNA cost basically nothing. That's going to change everything. So I mean, everyone, you know, for the longest time. Whether Bill Gates, Steve Jobs have been talking about, oh, you know, biology, it's, 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 it's big. We had the sequencing revolution, which was great. We could read everything, but we didn't have the ability to make. Making is what matters. And leveraging every human being on the face of the earth with the, the power to make stuff will change your life. So this is uh, our team, and I'll... I'll shoot the address up here in case you want to come by and take a look. Thank you.